Hello my dear students, myself Lata Kulkarni, Maharani Science College, Department of Electronics. Today I am going to explain you one software that is called Electronics Workbench. Using this software, we are going to perform the electronics practicals. In this software, all the equipments what we are using in the lab are present. You can easily download this electronics workbench in the computer or the laptop. It is a free software. So, let us start this electronics workbench. Just here you are seeing the icon. Double click this icon. It will open the electronics workbench. So, this is a one software. It includes all the hardware and the software tools. So, uh, here in the top what we are saying, this is called a title bar. It contains the electronics workbench title. And next another one is called the menu bar. And next this is the standard toolbar. And next up this is the one components toolbar. In this components bar, components toolbar, all the components, instruments, power supplies, ICs, everything is present what we are using in our laboratory. Using this electronics workbench software, you can construct all the practicals what we are doing in the laboratory. Okay, and here you can see one switch also. Zero is there, one is there and pause is also there. After constructing the circuit, how you are switch on in your laboratory, in the same way here also you switch on. Okay, just today I am going to explain you one by one tool and afterwards we are going to construct a one simple circuit so just you click here you are going to get the sources heading is also given here all the sources are there this is the ground this is the power supply this is the dc current source this is the ac voltage source and here it is not necessary to remember also. Just you take the mouse pointer there. It will show what is the work of that source. Okay. okay. In the same way, just disclose this. And here you go. In this, this is the symbol of the resistance. Here you are going to see all the basic components. That is this is the one connector and next is the resistor, capacitor, inductor, in transformer and here you go this is the coreless coil. Here the nonlinear transformer. In this way all the basic components are present in the basic toolbar. In the same way the diode toolbar is there. In the diode we are having our simple PN junction diode, Zener diode, LED and this is the full wave bridge rectifier and Shockey diode silicon control rectifier in this way all the types of the diodes are present if you go the next here you are going to get the transistor in the next we are having the analog ic's and mixed ic's and the digital ic's and next here we are going to get the logic gates in the same way just you go through here we are going to get the instruments also one by one you check just you are going to get here what are our main instruments we are using in the laboratory is the multimeter function generator and the oscilloscope okay hmm? 
and once again the same thing now what the, in the other software what are the tools are there that is new file open file save the file print cut the copy paste zoom and all other things are also pres also present in this software okay today i am going to show you a one small experiment using the cro and the function generator hmm? let us see how this is working first uh, just you see how this is working afterwards let us afterwards we will know how to construct this circuit so this is the function generator and this is the cr okay here only i took the function generator and the cro and negative negative is grounded positive negative negative is grounded positive positive is connected just i switch on this what you will see just you will see it will give the reference point is not connected properly just you connect the reference point and switch on you are able to see the sine wave in this circuit if you want you can expand this here just in the function generator sine wave is present you are going to see the sine wave and here the triangle wave also you can see square wave also you can see and okay so just this is the one example the same example we will do how to construct this okay for that what you have to do go to the file click on the new just it will ask so let us say no afterwards just if you are delete items how to delete the items select and delete select and delete let us construct the same circuit how we are going to construct that circuit so what we want i want the one cro and the function generator they are called the instrument where that cro and function generator are present here it is the multimeter i don't want i want the function generator just to select this and drag this you are going to get the function generator and next what i want i want the oscilloscope just you take that oscilloscope also afterwards just you close this instrument and here you are seeing the function generator is having the one negative another one is ground and one is the positive and here also if you want you can expand this just you are going to get here hmm? one is the ground another one is the this is the one channel this is the this is the common ground channel and this is the one channel channel a and channel b if you remember in the cro also we are having the two channels that is channel a and channel b and here you are going to i will expand this one for your understanding here you are going to get the time base and this is the channel a and this is the channel b hmm? if you want to reduce just you reduce let us do the connection and this also you are going to see first let us do the connection very simple connection if i want to um, display the uh, sine wave from the function generator to zero what we have to do positive is connected to the positive and the ground is connected to ground just you drag it but uh, here what we have to do means uh, 
we have to connect the one ne uh, negative point for that i have i should take the uh, connector here i should take the connector just to make the reference point hmm. and uh, one thing is the ground is also i should take ground is present in the first so in the sources the ground is also present just you take that ground and make the connection and just after doing the connection delete all the items which are not necessary so after after doing the connection just you switch on the button you are going to see the sign wave in that so this is what the function generated in the function generator just you go through the frequency is about 1 hertz if i increase the frequency what happens to the time period f is equal to 1 by t if i increase the frequency time period should decrease just you see here okay so let us keep one it is because it is one good looking and next uh, if i presently it is amplitude is this is called the amplitude amplitude is the 10 volts if i increase this what happens just you go through this go through here amplitude is also increasing and the amplitude is also decreasing okay so the same thing we are doing in the lab also okay so just if you want to stop this you can make it zero or you can use the pause button also okay my dear students in this way just to go through the any components drag it place and connect do the connections how you are doing in the lab so just to switch on if your connections are correct then you are going to execute all the practicals virtually